I feel like every day I'm just completely repeating myself. And it's so frustrating that this hasn't gotten under control yet. And it totally can. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. So um, first I want to talk about what's been happening in some of the other cities. So we see um, the rioting and the protests that are still happening in Chicago in um, Portland, in Seattle, and in other cities throughout the U.S. Those are just the top three that come to mind. Those are the top three cities where we're seeing a lot of this footage come out of. You see um, news anchors and politicians still calling these peaceful protests um, and just kind of not really being honest about what's going on. Yesterday, I showed you some aerial footage of what was going on in Chicago, and it just proves that these, in fact, are not peaceful. These are very organized, and these people are charging at police. There was a video last night that came out of Seattle of a commercial-grade fire, a commercial-grade fireworks, commercial-grade fireworks being thrown at officers. Several officers sustained burns because of this. The video is absolutely disturbing. Uh, there was another video out of Kalamazoo today of a BLM protester running up on a, um, a black proud boy, hitting him point blank in the head with, a, I don't know, it looked like a long stick, a crowbar, I don't know what it was, but he hit him in the head with this long stick pipe thing and then ran off. This happened in Kalamazoo. I believe this is under investigation. And the interesting thing was, who do you think the media demonized? Do you think they demonized BLM or the Proud Boys? They demonized the Proud Boys. So this continues to happen. And I would highly encourage you at this point, if you're finding it, any of these videos or any footage, please share it because th this continues to happen and I don't know at what point, when is enough enough? So last night out of Portland, Oregon, some really disturbing images came out. I originally saw it on Andy Noe's Twitter. So if you wanna see some of this footage, Andy No has been really great in releasing some of this footage. There's a few other guys that do. And basically every night they're going undercover and in full Antifa black block. And they're getting really amazing footage of what's actually going on on the streets. So in Portland, Oregon, what happened is they're basically in night, what, like 80 at this point? We don't even know. Um, they're in about night 80 of these protests. And the police at this point have retreated from the downtown area of trying to control these people. Why? Because they're going out every night they're being assaulted every night they're being demonized by the media every night they're being they have no support by local officials they're being demonized by the local officials and they're going out and they're getting assaulted and they're arresting these people they're doing their job and the DA that night will release these people they go out the next night and do it again that's why this is happening typically you will see these types of protests and riots they're not pro, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said protest. That was a mistake on my part. They're not, they're riots. Um, typically these riots will die down after a while. And the reason this is not happening is because these people are not being charged. And these people are committing federal crimes and they're being let out by the DA. So they're being emboldened and they're still downtown. And now, now they're harassing and antagonizing and attacking residents because of all of this. So who is paying for it? The residents and the business owners that are downtown. And What's really interesting is there were only about 100 people out last night committing these crimes. Do you know how easy that would to get that under control if the police had the support that they needed? That That's only 100 people. That's not that many people. You can get that under control if you need to, but they're not. Um, and I can't blame the police for not wanting to go out there and put their lives on the line and sustain injuries and to just have these people re-released. What are we doing? We're a joke. We're an absolute joke at this point. What are we doing? Um, so last night, some really disturbing footage came out. Um, I saw it on Andy Noe's page. Sorry if I'm going back and forth. I have a lot of feelings on this subject. So a man was driving and he accidentally came upon these rioters that are just ravaging or running around downtown Portland. Um, so he came across them. They start antagonizing him and I think maybe hitting his vehicle and he crashes because of this. They pull him out of the car. Um, they beat him to the point where he is unconscious. At one point, he's sitting in the middle of the road. Obviously, he's been beat. Obviously, they won. He's sitting down completely defenseless. This man comes behind him 
and kicks him in the back of the head. At this point, he falls down. He's completely unconscious, laying in the street. The reason they pulled him out of the car, this was a BLM security guy. The, the person that caused him to go unconscious had security written on his, uh, his little vest that he was wearing, his adorable little vest. It said security. Um, by the way, these are the people that want to run the streets. These are the people that want to defund the police. So you defund the police, this is, this is who's going to be policing. How funny. Um, and they're and they're assaulting people, yet they're protesting against police brutality. And this guy's calling himself security and assaulting people. What up with that? Ironic, huh? Isn't it ironic? Let me think. Sorry, <laughs> I'm so mad. So, uh, so pulls the guy out of the car, beats him. They beat up his girlfriend a little bit, um, or his wife, whoever that was, the passenger in the car. They go and search his car, just making sure there's no weapons. When this guy was never a threat in the first place. Anyway, this guy was completely unconscious in the street. Some of the protesters tried to come to first aid. I believe, I know as of right now, he is in the hospital. As of late last night and early this morning, he was still unconscious. I don't know the state of his health yet. Hopefully he's okay. I haven't seen any updates. If you know any updates, please say it in the comment section below. Um, that's all I have on this story right now. What are your thoughts on this? As of what I know right now, we know the man who, who assaulted this individual, the man who committed his, this crime, we know his name. Um, we know who he is, so his identity is very much out there. Last I heard from Portland Police on Twitter is that this is under investigation. Hopefully this man is arrested. I'm going to stay on top of this because this, this man needs to be in jail. He is, in my opinion, a murderer. This was attempted murder. When you're going, this man was already beat up sitting on the street. He ran up behind him, kicked him in the back of the head, and he was unconscious bleeding out on the street. That is attempted murder, in my opinion. That's just me. What do you guys think? I'll talk about this more later. I'm going to be following this. Um, but, you know, it's so funny because all these people want to defund the police. Well the, well, the police retreated. The police retreated. Is it any more safe? No, they, they appear to be get, to be even angrier now. And they, they appear to be even more violent at this point. So that's what I have for you right now. I'll keep on top of this. What do you think? Let me know. Bye, guys.